Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Currently in Windows 10 and Windows 11, you can set up additional clocks from the control panel, as you may well know, which is the legacy aspect of the operating system where you get your so-called legacy settings. So you've got clock one, clock two, you can rename them to anything, change the time zone, and that's what you see here in your calendar flyout in both operating systems. And I'll leave a video I posted on this, how to do that link down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info. Now in regards to legacy control panel features, just to let you know that Microsoft is now going to be bringing more clock features and moving them into the new settings app. Although they will remain in control panel, but this was spotted by Phantom of Earth in recent preview builds. So if we had two images provided by Phantom of Earth, here we can see additional clock one, additional clock two. And you can now add up to two additional clocks, just like you can in the control panel. And then you can rename them and label them to your own personal choice. So Microsoft once again is in the process of bringing more control panel features over into the new settings app. And then over and above the additional clocks, Microsoft is also bringing the option to change the AM PM symbol in the time format that's also been added to settings which is also a control panel feature. So you'll be able to change AM and PM and that will be found in the settings time and language, language and region as we can see. And this is once again Microsoft's move as they have been doing over the last good couple of months, moving legacy aspects of control panel into settings. Although the legacy components are still remaining in the control panel as mentioned and due to this i think control panels end is nearing and when i say nearing i'm not saying soon i just think somewhere in the future microsoft will eventually deprecate the legacy control panel in favor of the settings app and as i've posted previously and i'll leave the video linked other features like keyboard settings are also starting to move over, which Microsoft hasn't formally announced yet. Go check the video out for more info. Now, on a personal level, I prefer the legacy control panel when it comes to tweaking and adjusting settings in Windows. But be that the case, Microsoft still intend to get as many of the control panel settings and options into the settings app which I think is a good indication that sometime in the future, control panels end is going to eventually come. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.